kukumbushe usubscribe katika channel hii ili uweze kupata kila video ama kila somo ambalo linakuwa linatolewa hapa ili uwe na subtopic zote ukamilishe kusoma topic nzima okay lakini pia una, una kama kuna sehemu yoyote utakojaelewa ni vizuri uka comment katika sehemu ya comment hapo ukaacha swali lako mimi nitakuja nitalijibu katika muda mwafaka okay tunaendelea hapa na short term finance decision baada ya kutizama zile long term finance long term decision hapa tupo na hizi short term finance decision okay katika hii short term finance decision tutaangalia hii kitu kinachoitwa liquidity decision okay, kabla hapo kwamba sema these are decisions involved a period of less than one year kwamba haya ni maamuzi ambayo tunayafanya lakini effect yake ni less than one year yana effect chini ya mwaka mmoja ama ndani ya mwaka usika sio kama ile ya long term tulivyosema ni zaidi ya mwaka mmoja effect yake kwamba hii effect yake yenyewe ipo ndani ya mwaka mmoja ama within the accounting period anaendelea kwa kusema these decisions are needed for managing the firm's day to day fund requirement kwamba maamuzi haya ni muhimu muhimu zaidi katika organization ama kampuni ili kuweza ku manage firm's day to day fund kuweza ku manage ile pesa au mahitaji ma, ma, ma ya pesa katika kampuni ya kila siku aendelea kusema general they relate to the management of current asset and current liability hii yenyewe inajihusisha na usimamiaji wa hizi current asset asset ambazo ni za ndani ya mwaka mmoja kama vile cash labda at hand cash at bank stock zile ambazo zinabaki ama current liabilities zile liabilities ndogo ndogo kama hawa creditors lakini anasema short term borrowings ile mikopo ambayo ni ya muda mfupi zile short loans ambazo tunakuwa tunazikopa lakini pia and investment of surplus cash for short period kama tunakuwa tuna kiasi cha ziada tunaweza kuinvesti kwa nini kwa muda mfupi tukakopesha kwa faida ama kwa ajili ya hawa debtors wetu okay tuna tukaangalia hii liquidity decision ipoje kama tulivyosema anasema investment in current asset investment in current asset affect the firm's profitability and liquidity kwamba unapowekeza katika current asset ina affect firm's profitability faida ya firm lakini pia na liquidity tusema liquidity ina maana ni, ni zile kama ni stock ama ni asset ambazo zenyewe simply zinaweza kuwa converted into cash kwa muda mfupi zaidi kwa hiyo hapa ndo wanazungumzia kwamba profitability na hiyo liquidity zinaweza kuwa affected kutokana na his investment in current asset. Lakini pia sima current asset should be managed efficiently. Kwamba hii current asset inabidi zisimamiwe vizuri for safeguarding the firms against the risk of illiquidity. Kwamba inabidi hizi zisimamiwe vizuri ili tuweze ku safeguard ama tuweze kuilinda kampuni tuweze kulinda kampuni kutokana na, na hii risk na hasara ambayo inaweza kujitokea kutokana na illiquidity. Illiquidity ni kwamba pale firm inakuwa imekosa hata cash ya ziada inakuwa haina kiasi cha pesa. Kwa hili tu, tuweze ku safeguard kampuni kwamba ni lazima tufanye management nzuri katika hii current assets. Lakini pia anaendelea kusema illiquidity in extreme situation kwamba hii illiquidity sasa inapokuja kuzidi sasa anasema can lead to the firms insolvent inapelekea kwamba fem inakuwa insolvent inashindwa kujimanage kabisa mwisho wa siku fem inaweza kafilisika kabisa pia anasema if fem does not invest sufficient fund in current asset kwamba fem isipo invest ama isipoweka kiasi cha pesa cha kutosha katika current asset it may become illiquid itakosa hichi kiasi cha pesa ambacho ama itakosa itakosa hata cash ambayo inatumia katika matumizi madogo madogo anasema and therefore risk mwisho siku inapelekea hasara it will lose profitability itapoteza faida ya firm as idle current asset would not earn anything kwa sababu kutakuwa kuna current asset ambazo zitakuwa hazi earn anything yani zipo idle hazitu 
hazitumiki. Kwa hiyo ndo liquidity decision. Hiyo ndo liquidity decision. Kwa hiyo kama utakuwa una swali ama unakuwa na comment yoyote kuhusiana na topic ama mwenendo mzima wa hii channel unaweza kaandika hapo sehemu ya comment chini na mimi nitaipitia mapema tu then nitakujibu vizuri kabisa. Okay, karibu katika channel yetu naendelea kufuatilia video zetu ambazo